and welcome back to Brime Tech. In this unboxing and performance test, we'll give you a quick performance test of the MSI GE67HX. So let's start unboxing the Rider GE67. So this is the box, Rider series. Under it, we have the user manual, the power supply, which is 330 watts, and here is the power cable. Let's wrap the device. It's all in metal with the MSI logo metalized. You can open the lid from the sides without any problem. And the hinge tilts until 140 degrees. Do not try to press it so much. It may it may break. This is the piece of cloth. And that is the device. Build the quality is really premium with the steel series keyboard that is nice to type on it's powered up the RGB flickering is from the camera but in real it is there's no any flickering the Ryder GE67 HX comes with the the Quarry 7 12 800HX it has uh, 14 cores 8 performance cores and 8 efficient cores the efficient cores goes up to 3.4 GHz and the performance cores goes to 4.8 GHz and it has 24 threads. It also features a 16 GB of DDR5 memory that is 48 MHz and it comes with RTX 3070 Ti that is 150 watts TGB. So let's check the boards. From the uh, right hand side there is two USB 3.2 Gen 1 uh, and SD card reader. At the left hand side we have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 and also a USB Type-C that also supports DisplayPort 1.4 Also we have a headphone jack At the back we have the HDMI cable that can power the screen of 4K at 120Hz or 8K at 60Hz The DCN uh, as well as RJ45 and the Thunderbolt 4 So the screen is OLED, QHD and 240 Hz, which is really very premium. So let's check the performance of this laptop. This is the Razer Viper Ultimate. The single core and multi core benchmarks are excellent for this laptop. The CPU would boost to 4.2 GHz until about 90 seconds later when the core temperature would hit 96. Thereafter, clock rates would fall to 3.7 GHz range in order to maintain a cooler core temperatures of around 87. CPU package power draw would be as high as 140 watts during the first 90 seconds of the test before stabilizing at 110 watts. In comparison, the Core i9-12900HK in the older GE66 would stabilize at just 45 watts when under similar conditions. GPU power draw would top out 148 watts when on extreme performance mode compared to 135 watts when on the balanced power profile. It's worth noting that we are only able to reach a GPU port power of 148 watts despite the MSI advertisement of 150 watts plus 25 watts dynamic boost. Now we are playing Cyberpunk 27, 2077 uh, on 2K without ray tracing or DLSS. Let's check Red Dead Redemption 2. How's the performance of this device?
So the Witcher 3 on 2K and the screen is also very unique and excellent. It is really a very unique experience to be honest. Well done on I'm MSI I'm on this one. So what is my final verdict about this laptop? It has a very decent battery life related to its performance and its size. It has a very crisp QHD display very fast performance from the Core i7 12th generation which can compete with the 13th generation and the highest TGB of 150 watts for the uh, GPU. But the lid downs for this laptop is you know some OLED flickering from time to time and the display is not calibrated from the factory so you have to calibrate it before start using it. Also it is a bit loud while gaming. That was our full review and unboxing of the MSI GE76HX. Thanks indeed for tuning in and subscribe as there are more reviews to come.